hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we shall be starting part six of the let off l7 lunac glider build we finished at the last uh, video doing the center section of the wings on the fuselage which is just here oh looking gorgeous haven't put the filler on yet um but but uh, yeah there they are nice and solid uh so next job that i want to do is the fin and rudder and i've traced the parts out lasered them out and on the bench so let's have a look and you'll also notice that maybe i've tidied the bench up a little bit oh cliff you've tidied the bench so all i've cut out is the ribs there's four at the front and there's five which is six at the back and that sees here we've got six number five might be longer than i need five four three two and one and there's four three, two, one on the front and then there's the actual post so we've got quarter inch rudder, po rudder post and a four mil fin post. The lead and edge comprises of a piece of 1.5 mil balsa, nine mil wide that goes on the face of those and that's then faced off with a bit of quarter inch and then the whole lot's rounded. The rudder post is quarter inch and at the back there's a bit of 1.5 mil by 6 mil balsa that goes directly on the back of this and then the whole lot, well the, 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 the fin itself is clad with 0.4 mil ply which I think I might do it in ply because if it should nose over or go into a tree, because it has happened, let's face it, um, it's going to possibly break the fin if I do it all in balsa, so I will put 0.4 mil ply on the fin. The rudder, a little bit different, it's got 0.4 mil ply around the circumference and it's got little curved bits going in like that and it's going to look very pretty and that trailing edge is sandwiched between the ply the same with the leading edge of it i'm thinking i'll cut that on the laser and it'll look beautiful and then the cap strips are 0.4 mil ply um, one thing i did notice is that they've used uh, barbed hinges I can't remember what they're called. I've got one here. So look. Okay, the hinges are the Robart style of hinge. This sort here. They're nice hinges, good solid hinges. There's one there, and there's one down there. I don't like the idea of it just being two, so I'm going to put a third one in here, and. That's what these four mil holes are. I can make them bigger. So I've got an extra hole in the two posts. The robot hinges, of course, are very good, very solid. Not cheap, but then what is? Accessories aren't cheap, are they? So how do you start? Well, you can't lay it down and build it because it's tapered. Oh, I don't know, can you? Can you lay it down and build it? Can you? I suppose you could really, couldn't you? I suppose you could. The only other thing you could do is to glue them on upright like that and uh, make sure they are vertical. People have asked me in the past where do I get the plastic from? Well, these are just plastic bags that things come in. Sometimes the 
CA will stick to it, so do a test. Okay, so a quarter inch rudder post, and starting with number six. Right, slightly longer. Ooh. Three, two, and one. Like I say, I guess I, there's no reason why I can't build them like this. It might be better, then I know the back edge is going to line up. Uh, so worth doing. In fact, I'll cut the end of the ribs because they're square and the, I, they want to be angled really, so I'll angle them. Should be okay. Got to hold it at that angle. I've chosen a medium hard balsa for this job. That's good. Okay. I think we're ready to start so let's start what am I going to use I'm going to use I was going to use CCA actually but I think I might for the pleasure of the glue use some of this I'm going to put a little pool there and I'm going to use that as a little area where I can just do the end grain to start with just fill the pores up on each one Okay, moving back to the first one, let's pop it in. Over the top, and it goes just above the hinge position, just there. This is good guys, isn't it? Building a different shape after doing the fuselage, which was quite quite a lot of work this is going to come together really quick and it's going to look fantastic when I offer it up to the fuselage and I'll get a real sense of uh, the length of it and the height of it and okay that went rather well so let's cut a piece of 1 16th. I've also got to say trim the back of these at an angle just to accept the 1 16th and trimming them back they're going to go slightly further back than the plan says which is okay I'll just move the back edge of the rudder in a millimetre Okay, I haven't got a scrap piece, but I have got this piece, which is quite hard, thankfully. So we'll run with that one, I think. Five, six, seven. Oh, I, you know, I am enjoying this build so much. It helps to be as accurate as you can. Oh, just dropped a rib because the more accurate you are the more pleasure you sort of get out of it all the while you're trying to all the while you're trying to just be the best you can nice working on a tidy bench isn't it don't suppose it'll stay like that for long that's going to go in there like a bat there's no reason why that can't go in now, but I tell you what, the um, end grain of these ribs I'm going to uh, treat. This one will be angled. I oh, know this one isn't angled. Well, I suppose it could be angled. This is this is how slightly tricky these things are because you've got to think. 
like that goes in there I'll do the end grain of these now and then when I assemble it it'll be they'll be done won't they yeah well let that set a little bit guys take it off it's going to be in my way actually for now probably possibly It is end grain, so I'm going to have to flood a little bit on there, I think. I'm going to put that on there like that. Yeah, pretty instant. Look at that. Instant. Slightly skew with, but it's not the end of the world. Put it in from that side because the shadow, I can't see it. So turn it sideways. Now we're getting somewhere. So this is going to go on top of there like that and for that I might use white glue glue on the end grains and get it soaking in right that's the bare bones of that one made up then set that up there and take this off now and we'll glue that on the back edge of that that'll be fun I might have to use well I can't use CA now because I've gone and uh, put some white glue in the end I was just wondering if what to gl mm, glue it on up laying down and then when it's nearly set take it off and sort of get it looking equal both sides Tell you what, let's unpin it. I can lay it flat to do that. What I'm thinking is, glue it on here like that. When it's set a bit, then lift it off and sort of just get it so it's sort of neither one way or the other. Right, that's what that looks like. So now I can actually fix that onto the top of there and the top of all those there like that somehow. And I think laying it down might be a good idea. And I don't know how long I'm going to give it because it's going to be just enough time to sort of go off a bit but not so much time that I can't just move it into position a little bit so we'll keep our eye on that a minute anyway well I've put another piece of quarter inch on the front of this and shaped it around and I've also stuck some quarter inch of triangular on the back of the fin and then that will go in there like that sort of partially covered Sorry, 0.4 mil ply comes over the edge of this to partly uh, cover it as well. I've also been busy cutting out some ply bits. 0.4 mil ply. And that goes on there like that. That goes on there like that. And then I've got some thin strips which will go between like that. So it ends up a sort of wall ply exterior. Before I can put those on, there's a triangular piece that goes in here from there down to here somewhere. Um, in fact, this will locate the back end of it easily. A piece of balsa to go from there roughly. I've got a little scrap I can offer in there just to double check. Right about there. That'll be fine. Hurrah for the laser, that's what I say. 
Isn't that great? Let me cut that out like that. Uh, I think it might be an idea to actually just sand 45 degree on the end there. Go in there, and that can go on there like that. End grain, so let's soak it first. Give that a minute to flash off, and then we'll glue it in. So that's going to go on there, that's going to go on here. I'm going to glue it on and just lay it down with some weights on and then turn it over to the other side. This isn't a job you can rush, is it? If you wanted to get it built all in one sort of sitting, you'd struggle. We'll let that set and then come back and work on it a little bit more. Cut out the two pieces of plywood. They get sort of go over the tailplane section like that, I think. And there's another triangular piece that goes over the top there. It goes like that and sticks over the this bit a little bit to form a little bit more of a recess for the rudder. So I'll stick it on with white glue and sort of weigh it down. It's going to be quite a substantial structure when it's finished, isn't it? Quite strong ply facing. Probably much like the full size one, I should think. Actually, just thinking I could iron this on, couldn't I? I take a note of the place like that and take it off again. Let's have a go, shall we? Ironing it on. up to 146C. Well, oh, looks like it's stuck pretty firmly. That's a great system that is, isn't it? There we are, guys. It's hot. That's the fin just about made. Okay, let's have a look at this. I think I'll get the other side on and then worry about all the little fiddly bits tomorrow. So let's have a look at this, it's going to go on there. So I've got to cut a piece of plywood, uh, sorry, balsa wood to fill this angle. And then there's some little half curved shapes and then I can wrap a uh, thin ply around it. That'd be fun. I'll make a template for that. 
Okay, that should be the perfect fit. There we go. And I think maybe I'll just CA that in place. Let's just bend you up slightly. Smashing. Just give that a quick spray, shall we? The, the ply is going to come almost right to the front, so this is going to want to have a bevel on it all the way around. Okay, guys, using a template, I've transferred it to a piece of 0.4 mil ply and using a bit of water both sides to help it around, I've decided to do it in two parts and stick it to the spine if you like and it's a little bit pointy i don't know if it should be a bit rounder but it's not the end of the world um had a little sort of split there nothing too bad um it's come out okay yeah there it is so all i've got to do now is to fix a piece of balsa on the top because this has a piece of balsa here and it goes over the rudder like that. To this then, other than finish rounding up the leading edge, getting the hinges in, finished off all the ply as well. So yeah, that's actually incredibly strong structure and obviously not too heavy, it's mostly air. That bit sanded up okay. I just stuck the piece on the top. I've just been sanding this piece, but I had to get the been centered. That's the only way I could think of doing it. Still, that's all done now. That's just about finished now. I just got to round up this edge and maybe just tidy up the back. But yeah, I put some blocks in, they're drilled, everything is fixed. So that's the fin and rudder finished. What a um what a lot of constructing that was. <laughs> um, my next part this finishes off this part, um, but the next part is going to be uh, the next part is going to be the tailplane. Uh, quite a bit of work to do on that because I've got to measure and cut all the ribs, and they're all supposed to be the same size and they're drawn differently. So <laughs> I've got to measure stuff and start cutting out. So um, that will be fun. Uh, slows you down though. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which will be part, the next part. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll build a tailplane or at least make a start on it anyway. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, it'd be very good. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that little subscribe button. It costs nothing and you can follow along with the build. Cheers, thanks for watching, bye.